What are the most unreliable car brands that you need to avoid? That's what we're going to find out. Welcome to Carl Corner, where we help you, the consumer, master the process of car buying and car ownership. For this video, I'm going to share the top 10 least reliable car brands according to the latest 2023 survey data from Consumer Reports. Now, normally I don't like to solely rely on surveys such as this for reliability data. I prefer to weigh various sources, including anecdotal data from mechanics who actually work on these cars every day. But in this case, it does appear that Consumer Reports got a lot of their picks absolutely right. And at the end of this video, I'm also going to add a few honorable mentions that I believe they should have included as well. So to find out what are the least reliable car brands, make sure to stick around until the end of this video. And if you enjoy and get value out of this video, make sure to subscribe to my channel. I post two videos a week, always straight to the point, valuable car buying advice designed to help you, the consumer. So let's start this list off with number 10, which is Nissan. According to the survey, Nissan got an average reliability score of only 44 out of 100, with the brand's least reliable model being the Sentra, which got a pretty dismal score of only 9 out of 100. Now I can't say I'm all that surprised, even though Nissan has done a commendable job of updating its model lineup over the past few years, they have long struggled with reliability, which continues to be a problem to this day. Hopefully, after having some time to sort out the early reliability issues with their redesigned model lineup, they'll improve the quality of their cars. But in the meantime, let's move on to number 9 on the list, which is Ram. According to Consumer Reports, the Ram lineup got an average reliability score of only 42 out of 100. Again, this one is not a huge surprise because most of the Stellantis group, including their brands like Dodge, Fiat, and Jeep, are known for having all kinds of quality issues and reliability problems. The Ram trucks in particular have been known for having all kinds of serious reliability issues, especially with the eco diesel engines, which were known to fail at an alarming rate. They're just not known for having strong reliability, they can be very expensive to repair, and the quality of service with Ram is not very good either. So if you want to buy a reliable pickup truck, your best bet is to shop elsewhere. So with that out of the way, let's move on to number 8 on the list, which is Cadillac. According to the survey, Cadillac got an average reliability score of 42 out of 100. The brand's least reliable model is the full-sized Escalade SUV, which got a score of 37 out of 100. Again, this one is not a huge surprise. General Motors is not exactly for having stellar reliability. And given the fact that Cadillac makes the most complicated and technologically heavy cars in the lineup, it's not surprising to see that their reliability is not so great. But at least Cadillac did better than number 7 on the list, which is Ford. According to Consumer Reports, Ford got an average reliability score of only 41 out of 100. Ford's least reliable models include the Explorer SUV with a score of only 16 out of 100 and the F-150 EcoBoost Hybrid, which got a really dismal score of only 4 out of 100. Now I have long criticized the quality of Ford's mid-sized SUVs in previous videos, especially the Explorer, so it is reassuring to see that Consumer Reports can back that up. These vehicles are known for having all kinds of electronic issues, problems with the 10-speed automatic transmission, and issues with the EcoBoost turbo engines too. But although Ford performed quite poorly, they didn't do as bad as number 6 on the list, which is Tesla. According to Consumer Reports, the brand has an average reliability score of only 40 out of 100. Tesla's least reliable model is the Model Y SUV, with an average reliability score of only 25 out of 100. Now, to be fair to Tesla, a lot of their issues are not exactly related to major components like the motors and battery packs, but rather cosmetic issues like the fin finish and quality of the interior and exterior. But that being said, Teslas are known for being very expensive to repair, and servicing them can be a major problem too. But if you're still keen on the brand, the model that seems to be the safest bet also happens to be the least expensive one too, which is the Model 3, which seems to have the best build quality of the bunch. And moving on to number 5 on the list, we have Chevrolet. According to the survey, Chevrolet got an average reliability score of 40 out of 100, with the brand's least reliable models being the Silverado pickup truck, and the Bolt electric car, with an average reliability score of 17 out of 100. But it wasn't only Chevrolet from the General Motors family that got a low reliability score. Consumer Reports also found the exact same issues with number 4, which is GMC. According to the survey, GMC has an average reliability score of only 36 out of 100, with the brand's least reliable model being the Sierra pickup truck, with a score of only 19 out of 100. Now that's certainly pretty bad, but it can compete with number 3, which is Volkswagen. Now anyone who's watched my previous videos would know that I have often criticized Volkswagen for their subpar reliability. 
According to Consumer Reports, Volkswagen has an average reliability score of only 31 out of 100, which is quite disappointing. And the brand's most popular models, including the Atlas and the Tiguan SUVs, both got a reliability score under 20 points under 100. Now this is not surprising to see, Volkswagen has long had all kinds of reliability issues, especially as they age beyond the warranty period. And on top of that, they're also known for being a lot more expensive to repair when compared to other brands that they compete against, including brands like Honda and Toyota. So if you want a reliable car that's not going to cost you a lot of money in repairs as it ages, Volkswagen is one of the main ones that you should stay away from. And the same could also be said at number 2 on the list, which is Jeep. According to the survey, Jeep got an average reliability score of only 30 out of 100. And not surprising, the brand's least reliable models include the Wrangler and the Gladiator, with an average reliability score of only 21 out of 100. Like I said earlier in the video, the Stellantis group, which includes brands like Dodge, Ram, and also Jeep, is just not known for having strong build quality or reliability. But the incredible thing is that despite the fact that Jeep's models seem to be unreliable, they continue to be extremely popular in the market. The Wrangler, for example, has the strongest resale value of almost any model that you can buy, which speaks to its popularity and its desirability with buyers. So at least it's comforting to know that even when you get really tired of spending a lot of money on repairs, at least you know you're going to be able to sell it for a really good price. Unfortunately though, you can't say the same about number one on the list, which is Mercedes-Benz. Yes, Consumer Reports ranks Mercedes as the least reliable car brand of 2023, with a really dismal score of only 26 points out of 100. And just as it was last year, the brand's least reliable model continues to be the GLE SUV, with a reliability score of only 23 out of 100. Reliability is something that a lot of high-end European luxury brands are just not known for in North America. Not only are they known for being very problematic past the warranty period, but they're also known for being very expensive to repair as they age too. But that brings into question, where are some of the other European brands that you might expect to see on a survey like this? Which brings us to our honorable mentions. Now, even though these car brands didn't make the top 10 list of the Consumer Report survey, I would still consider them to be very unreliable and best to stay away from if you're shopping for a new vehicle. This includes the remaining Stellantis Group brands including Chrysler and Fiat, which are known for being very unreliable too. I would also include Jaguar and Land Rover, which have long had a troubled history for reliability and being very expensive to repair as they age. Now the reason why these brands didn't make the Consumer Reports list is because there just wasn't enough survey data to include them. Because the survey is limited to the 300,000 members within the Consumer Reports group, it doesn't exactly give us a full picture of the entire car market. Which is why, like I said at the beginning of the video, you can't just rely on survey data from groups like Consumer Reports for your information. You have to weigh this information with other reliable sources of information, including anecdotal data from mechanics who work on these cars every single day. But having said that, most of the other surveys, including data from mechanics, are more or less in line with the results of Consumer Reports. So if you wanted to know which car brands you needed to stay away from, now you know. So let me know what you thought of this video, and if you have any suggestions for any future car videos, just leave a comment below. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe. You can also take a look at my other car videos by clicking these links over here. Make sure to follow me on TikTok and Instagram. And if you need any additional car buying advice, recommendations, or help with getting a great deal on your next new car purchase, make sure to check out carhelpcan.com. Thanks so much for watching, and see you next time.